Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Letitia Reynolds, Humanities and Social Sciences Librarian and Subject Librarian for Social Work. I can help you with your social work related research. Today I will give you an overview of our social work related databases and some of our other resources that might be helpful. Now let's go to our website. The web address for the library's main page is library.louisville.edu. This is the access point for most of our resources and tools. Just to point out a few things, in the list of red tabs on the right, you will see the Ask a Librarian link, which gives you all of the ways that you can get in contact with us. You can click on the link for meet with the librarian and then just scroll down to my contact information to schedule. At the top of the page, you will see our find search box, which is how to access our catalog. This is an enhanced catalog that allows you to search for books, videos, and things we have in our library system. It also searches libraries around the world, and it includes several article databases as well. It is a good place to see what is out there on your topic in different formats. To do a more strategic search for articles, you can use one of our library databases. Under Quick Tools, you'll see different ways to get to articles. You can go to the A to Z list if you know the database that you want to access or the subject guides list to search subject specific databases. We will mostly look at the social work and social sciences related databases. But there are also a few general databases that can be helpful. You can use the Any Topic Guide to find general databases like ProQuest, EBSCO, JSTOR, and more. The best place to find social work articles is the social work guide. We have tried to place all of the social work related databases here, but since social work overlaps with so many other disciplines, there may be other guides that will be helpful depending on your topic. Let's go to the guide. You will see a number of suggested databases directly related to social work under the recommended databases list. There is also a list of additional databases that may be related depending on your research topic. Just to mention a few databases that might be helpful, APA PsychInfo is one of our most popular for behavioral science or mental health topics, and social services abstracts or social work abstracts are good for social work related topics. For example, you may use social services abstracts or social work abstracts to find resources related to social work leadership and administration or social policy, as well as other topics dealing with social work, social welfare, and human services. Let's take a look at social services abstracts. If we are doing, a, doing research on teaching cultural competency in social work education, we might search the keywords cultural competency and social work and education. This gives us over 2,600 results. You can narrow by peer review or by date. One thing to point out about social services abstracts is that it is an abstracting and indexing database meaning there are fewer full text articles in the database. However, we have a linking service called Find It at UofL. And when you see the Find It button in the record for an article that you're interested in, just click on it. 
If we have the article in another database, it will take you to that database so that you can access the article. Now I'll do a search in PsycInfo. We will go a little more in depth with search strategies in this one. PsycInfo is good for mental health topics and especially for finding information about treatments or interventions for different conditions. Let's say our topic is about substance abuse among teenagers. You might try keywords like substance abuse, intervention, and teenagers. Depending on your search results, you may need to narrow or broaden your search. If you need more articles, you can add synonyms or related words. Let's add or and the word adolescence. You see this increases our results since we are searching for either the term teenagers or the term adolescence. It is also obvious that adolescence is the more common term. You can further narrow from the navigation bar on the left. You can narrow by peer-reviewed articles, by date, and in other ways. You can also narrow by methodology to find certain types of studies. Let's click on empirical study. Let's look closer at an article. The record for this article includes important information like the abstract, citation information, and the PDF or text of the article it's, if it is available. If the full text of the article is not available, you can click on Find It at UofL. If I click on the Find It button, you see it takes me to a page that gives links to the full text article. However, if the full text is not available, you can click here to request the article through Interlibrary Loan. Don't forget that there are other databases on the guide that can be useful for your research. For example, you will see that there are databases dealing with education, like ERIC and Education Full Text. These can be useful for additional articles on social work education. One final piece of information. In the Search Tips and Resources box on the Social Work Guide, you'll find links for Research DIY and Productive Researcher. Research DIY provides short videos and tutorials about various aspects of research. For example, if you want to know more about finding scholarly sources, finding statistics and data, or citing sources. You can find the tools and tips to get you started here. There is also a link here for the Productive Researcher Portal for graduate students related to various topics 
of research. If you have more questions or need more assistance, please remember to contact us or schedule a research appointment through the Ask page. Thanks.